What's up guys, Nico and me here. We're gonna have a discussion today. Don't know what it's gonna be about, but all I know is I made cookies. Here's my milk. I'm gonna have some, some fine dining. I need to put sprinkles on them. Uh, we're gonna have a fun old discussion today about something. Okay, so here are the cookies. I was really scared they were gonna be undercooked. Uh, they taste a little undercooked. I ate one. I'm not gonna lie and be like, yeah, that one's just missing. I don't know where it went. Yeah, I ate that one. Um, but, you know, there, there's crisp. There's crisp out here. They're not badly cooked. They're very, very soft. Like, you can see the fingerprints that I just made. But, um, we're gonna add some sprinkles and frosting. Okay. Guys, I've literally been looking for, like, a century over here. I cannot find the whipped cream. It's making me really, really angry. I mean, I could use cream cheese, but, like, at the same time, really now, am I that desperate? No. So I guess I just have to sell for sprinkles. These have not been hiding for me, okay? These babies, okay. Sponsored by Kroger. Just kidding, they're not sponsored. Come on. Got a video to make here. Here we go, folks. Is it? I think that's too much. I, I, I don't even think these are the type of sprinkles I was really asking for. I think you kind of need whipped cream for sprinkles, don't you? Am I even doing this right? Do these look good to you? I, I, don't, I don't know. Bon appetit. Okay, guys, so I have half a cookie here. I'm not going to lie. I eat three now. And I'm starting to feel kind of sick. Like, I'm already getting a headache. Feeling kind of lightheaded. Uh, these might be severely undercooked. Um, but I don't want to let the show just end just yet. So I'm still going to be eating the cookie while we talk. While I was trying to feel better, uh, I thought of an idea for what we're going to talk about in this video. And that is, Pokemon Sun and Moon is going to be the best Pokemon game ever, so far, yet. I'll decide. You'll see in the title. Why do I think it's going to be the best Pokemon game ever? Well, number one, let's think of what makes a game and what makes it good. We have plot, we have gameplay. We have features, online features, stuff like that, and graphics. Already, I mean, I can't really, I, I mean, I bet there's other subcategories. I mean, when you look in the plot, there's the characters, the, um, in this case, the Pokemon, the characters, the gym leaders, stuff like that. That would be the, uh, that part of the plot. Then the other plot being the story, of course. And then there's the graphics, and then there's, um gameplay, and there's features. Okay, so basically the only thing that this thing already hasn't improved on is pl uh, plot, which we don't really know yet, but I think it's going to be a great plot. Um, but just looking at the other thing, we can already confirm that they're better than the past. Number one, we have a uh, better gameplay. I mean, the same gameplay as any other Pokemon game. But we have new features, we have the Z-moves, and we have new Pokemon enhancing gameplay. So technically speaking, unless we have some weird broken meta um, online, like in the online video game competitions and like online battles, unless there's something crazy that happens, gameplay is better. This game has the best Pokemon gameplay, okay? Uh, in terms of battling and the battle mechanic, it's Pokemon. It's not going to change. It just has new Pokemon, which enhances the gameplay. Okay, you look at uh, plot. That's the only one we're not so sure about. I'll move on to that. Um, we have accessibility and features and like uh, stuff like that. We have all the online features from X and Y. We have the Pokemon Snap thing, which is really cool. It's like, you take your own pictures of Pokemon... <coughs> Take your own pictures of Pokemon, put them online, people can like them and share them. Okay, that's already another online feature. We have the ability to make your own online competitions now. You have uh, the Battle Royale now. So, that's better than the other game. Um, and then you have um, graphics, which, of course, are better than the past one. All the Pokemon models are more uh, proportional, they're real proportions, um... There's, the trainers are in the battle themselves. There's improved graphics all around. Uh, so if you look at the board, already 
It's the best Pokemon game in terms of uh, uh, graphics. Are you okay, doggy? Best Pokemon game in terms of graphics. The best Pokemon games in terms of gameplay because it's the same gameplay and same way to play Pokemon, but with more Pokemon, Z moves, and new stuff. So it's at least bare minimum the same gameplay as the other ones. It has more online features and it like features in general. Oh, you want to be in the video? And, and then you have the plot. So unless this game has a bad plot, which I really do not think, no. I, don't, I think it's going to be the at least second or third best plot. I, so we have new awesome Pokemon. We have Pokemon like the new uh, Type No, the Ultra Beast, uh, Poplio, uh, Lidden, and Rowlet all look promising. Rockruff looks cool. Um... We have Tapu Koko, we have Type No, Oricorio, Mimikyu, Pokemon that are really going to shake up the gameplay and be really cool to play with. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, so we have cool Pokemon promised. We have a cool plot promised. We have the Team Ether, which seems very, 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 very complex and cool. Seems to have lots of story behind them. We have... Uh, team Skull. So we have two big teams. We've never seen that before. I mean, we saw it, but Ether is not the typical evil team. Uh, then we also have the new four islands. We have, um, like four big, cool, diverse, unique islands to explore. We have, uh, the trials, the passage of trials or whatever to pass each island. We have, there's rumors that we're going to be making our own, like, gyms. There's so much potential for this game, and I think it really will be the best Pokemon game ever. Uh, mostly because Pokemon, it, I love this part about it. It never, for the main series games, they always retain and improve on themselves. No game has ever really regressed. It's never gone back in time and gotten worse. You know what I mean? They always make improvements. They wouldn't release a new Pokemon game if it was uh, bad, like, if it didn't improve the, the game or this franchise, if that makes sense. So, we're already getting more Pokemon. We're getting new, better graphics, new online and other features. Um, and we're getting a lot better of a plot and a lot better of a complex characters, I think. Uh, and I think it's just going to be the best game ever. It's going to be a cool, amazing, uh, you want to be in the video again? It's going to be a cool, this one wants to be in the video too. Oh. An amazing experience. It really will be. Because we're going to be going on an island. Going through, like, like the game, even though I said it's still basically the same game, but improved. This, po this one's really going to be breaking the boundaries. And it's going to be... Um, I mean, we don't have gyms. We're going to be going on islands and doing, like, passage of trials or whatever. Uh, we have, like, two different teams. And I just feel like... Right? Right? I just feel like it's going to be such a good game. Um, the Pokemon we've seen so far... When we talk about a game and Pokemon game, what makes a good po- Okay, bye. Whoa, he jumped. What makes a good Pokemon game? You look at Pokemon, you look at graphics, you look at, well, for the Pokemon games, um, every time they improve on graphics, but you look at uh, online capabilities now because we have new ones. Uh, we have, uh, you look at the region, you look at the gym leaders, you look at uh, like all the new Pokemon. And I think this one, this game really improves on everything. Sorry, I had to take the dogs out. If you're wondering, they went poop and pee. Anyways, um, okay, so you have the leaders. We know the four, the wiki, the, the girl, the Malo girl, and the really cool guy with the Marowak and, like, the fire, and, uh, you got them, right? They're cool. They seem cool enough. You have this region, which I feel like we can all agree Hoenn is one of the best regions, um, uh, or at least most of us can say that, and... This one just seems like a more improved, more diverse, more unique Hoenn. It seems very, very, like, wholesome, but at the same time inventive and cool and natural. 
Uh, we have character customization, one of the best features ever, coming back and even better than ever. We have the Poke of Me, same thing, back and better than ever. We have the, uh, the Pokemon training, super train thing, back and better than ever. So I feel like there's all these amazing features that Pokemon X and Y brought with the core Pokemon games that we all love when it comes to a uh, ton of new amazing Pokemon, uh, great uh, region, great evil team, great supporting characters. Um, Pokemon X and Y got a lot of flack and a lot of negativity for its plot, but it didn't give it get enough positivity for all the things that it brought to the table. I feel like this thing improves on all the things that X and Y brought while giving back and bringing back the things a lot of people wanted when it comes from like the more extensive, a more more engaging plot. Um, I feel like this is going to be a very good plot, and I think Game Freak, um, I think they're really getting it like a hundred percent right this time. And I think uh, this game is going to be the perfect Pokemon game. Um, X and Y was amazing. I think it's one of the best Pokemon games ever. I feel like this game is going to be Pokemon X and Y the elements from it, but mixed with the elements and all the things we love from, like, gold and silver. Basically, gold and silver with all the new um, features from X and Y, even greater uh, and improved, uh, and then also an even better region and cool po new Pokemon. I think, do you get what I'm trying to preach here? I just feel like it's going to be all the positives from all the Pokemon games with like little to no negatives. Uh, I just see so many good things coming from this and I really think this is going to be a great Pokemon game. I, actually, there's not a Pokemon game that I don't think, there's not a Pokemon game that I think is bad. I think even the more fan hated ones, like the one, like the Black Sheeps, the, um, wait, what's that saying? The more, like the Black Sheep of the family or the, the one that no one likes. I Even though a lot of people don't like Gen 5, I think there's plenty of amazing things coming from uh, Black and White. Thank you so much for watching. If you think Pokemon Sun and Moon is going to be a great game too, make sure to hit, uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you think these cookies look good. Um, I can't really mail them to you, but just say if they look good. Uh, thank you for watching. If you... Uh, like these type of videos, hit the subscribe button and tell me. If not, I guess I'll stop making them. I just like the long form discussion type videos, especially when like I'm tired. I get really weird when I'm tired and um, it, it's a good 10, 11 right now. I mean, it's not too late, but I mean, for the school year, it, I mean, it's a good time to go to bed now. So thanks for watching. I'll update you on the cookies if they maybe like if they really were undercooked. I think they're good enough. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.